Thanks to Brilliant for supporting my channel. So I've been using Scribble on the new iPad OS 14 beta for about a week now, and here are my thoughts. I thought about deepfaking that, but it felt like it would be a little bit too much work. <laughs> this isn't normally a tech review channel, but at Apple's annual showcase of upcoming products and features, they announced that the iPad would come with a new feature called Scribble, which would allow your iPad to translate handwritten text into digital text when you write using an Apple Pencil or stylus. This is a really cool feature for a lot of reasons, including accessibility, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But one of the first questions that came up after this announcement was, what if I have really bad handwriting? It turns out it might not matter, and I'll explain why and how Scribble actually recognizes your handwriting in the first place in this video. If you're new here, I'm Jordan, and I'm a PhD student who's fascinated by the ways that we interact with artificial intelligence and algorithms on a day-to-day -day basis. Consider subscribing if you want to keep learning with me, and if there are other cool AI tech products that you'd like me to review, you can let me know in the comments. So Scribble is based on something called Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, which has actually been around for a pretty long time. It encompasses all the ways that we can translate handwritten or print text into a digital form that you can edit or process on a computer. And OCR has actually been around since 1914. It was used to convert messages into telegraph codes, and in 1974 was used to create a program that could read books and other texts to people who are blind. A lot of the more recent work has focused on applying neural networks, specifically convolutional neural networks or recurrent neural networks, to digitize handwritten text. In fact, we talked about this a bit in my AO 101 video on how to create your first neural network, because MNIST, which is a data set that contains handwritten images of numbers, is often used as an intro to convolutional neural networks and classifying images. However, converting Reading sentences and paragraphs can be harder. We have to figure out where the letters are in each image, classify what the letters actually are, and then put them together into words and sentences that make sense. In the case of Scribble, we also have to learn a specific user's handwriting, which may or may not resemble something that was used in the original training data, as well as new forms of words and sentences like links that weren't really present in historic datasets. Now, this isn't a new problem, it's actually a different version of an existing one. For example, when we look at software that's designed to help autonomous cars drive, we need to be able to look at an image and a video and figure out which things in the video are objects and what those objects are. In the case of optical character recognition, we'll usually start by doing some pre-processing on our text to make it easier for the computer to understand, and then we'll proceed with one of two options. First, we might try to match our records of different letters to the one in question, which is called pattern matching. This tends to work well on printed text where the font is standardized, but doesn't work as well on handwritten text. Second, we can try feature extraction, where we try to find features in each letter or word that can help us distinguish it from the other letters and words in the text, and then use that to develop a classifier that can work on new data. This is a common approach to handwriting recognition and most modern optical character recognition systems because it lets us analyze textiles that we haven't seen before and can be faster than pattern matching. Scribble likely relies on a neural network designed to analyze and contextualize lines of text. You can actually see it at work here. As I write, the software highlights each letter, groups them into words, and then translates them into text. Interestingly, it also looks like it's doing some real-time context-based spell checking to make sure that the word that it thinks I'm writing matches with the things that I've already written. It also lets you delete words by scratching them out, insert words into an existing sentence, select words, or add or remove spaces between letters. But what if you have really bad handwriting? Well, Scribble uses on-device machine learning to learn to recognize your handwriting without violating your privacy. This is actually similar to how Siri's voice recognition works in that it learns your voice so that it can separate it from anyone else's. You can see the real-time learning in practice here as I try to write something in cursive, which I have not done in a very long time and am quite bad at. There are a couple times when Scribble initially converts my writing into the wrong word, but usually after two or three tries, it picks it up. Although it never figures out the word cursive in cursive, so there may still be work to be done. Now, I'm using Scribble through the Apple software beta program, so it's still in development and may turn out to be better or changed by the time it gets released to the general public in iPadOS 14. However, based on my experiences, the beta version is still extremely effective at doing its job. In addition to potentially helping people with disabilities who may have trouble using keyboards or who may have motor control issues that makes it difficult to understand their handwriting, I think that Scribble is actually a really interesting idea for students. I personally use my iPad to take notes in class because I found that handwriting my notes helped me remember them a lot more, but I've also found that using notebooks and paper causes me to lose them or otherwise become disorganized. 
My only complaint with that system was that there was no real way for me to convert my iPad handwritten notes into a text form that would let me make larger compilations of notes for things like study guides and formula sheets. So Scribble would let me take handwritten notes on my iPad while immediately converting them to digital text so that I could repurpose them more easily later. So we talked about how Scribble uses on-device machine learning to recognize your handwriting and learn to recognize it better as it goes on, but some of you might still be worried about Scribble recognizing your handwriting, potentially some future doctors out there. For anyone who is still worried about that, I've actually created an example of a handwriting recognition model. It's pretty basic in that I'm intentionally breaking up words into letters, so I'm only feeding one word at a time in the form of a series of letters. But you can see that it's able to figure out my handwriting with relatively high accuracy. And if you'd like to create machine learning models that can recognize and classify your own handwriting, you should check out Brilliant's course on artificial neural networks. In their first course, you get an introduction to neural networks through hands-on experimentation, not mathematics. You'll develop intuition about the kinds of problems they're suited to solve and build networks yourself, like a handwritten digit classifier. Once you're ready, they've also got a more advanced course that explores the mathematics behind the algorithms. Brilliant's thought-provoking math, science, and computer science content helps guide you to mastery by taking complex concepts and breaking them up into bite-sized, understandable chunks. You'll start by having fun with their interactive explorations, and over time you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. To get started, go to brilliant.org jordan and sign up for free. In fact, the first 200 people that go to that link will also get 20% off the annual premium subscription. I've been really impressed by their courses. They teach you to think like an engineer, letting you make mistakes and then learn from them with detailed explanations. And if you create your own handwriting recognition model after taking Brilliant's course, post them on Twitter or Instagram and tag me and I will showcase it in an upcoming video. Otherwise, if you like this video, you can let me know by smashing the like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also check out the AI 101 video that I did on how to create your first neural network up here. You can keep up with my PhD life on Twitter and Instagram, and otherwise, I will see you next Friday. Bye!